There are some videos that say, hey, incinerate your stuff if you're not going to use it. Because, you know, you tend to have a lot of useless stuff, like, I don't know, this or crystal. Maybe you don't want that. It has some use, but maybe you don't want that. And if you come over here to incinerate, nothing happens. The guy runs away. The reason for that is, is because you have to complete a quest. Let's see if I can just access it here. There we go. Small quest. Small incident. So if you just go through this quest... Okay, and just new campfire residence. Alright. Now you should be able to do incineration. So you just click incinerate. Uh, let's pick... I don't know. Can't incinerate... Oh, I can incinerate this. I didn't think I could. So we're going to incinerate this. Let's click incinerate. All right, we got some gold coins. Let's go to all. We got three gold. Yay! I think the two AP would have been better, but that's how you incinerate. The goal is is that once you get into this caution area, this is when you want to do most of your incineration. I've also been told, as rumor. Incinerate one item at a time. So if I have like a stack of 10, here we go. So you'd incinerate one at a time because that gives you a better chance of getting something. Uh, some people have gotten items. Um, mostly you get a ton of gold, like a couple million gold. That's why you want to incinerate. You won't have up a lot of useless items per se at the beginning. You'll get most of those when you start doing raids. Because a lot of the gear you get and the Erg Crystals you get, there's actually a use for those. Mm -hmm.